one hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Five. Hello and welcome to Cardiff, where we are taking a tour around the airport on an evening in August. It has truly been a busy summer so far for the airport with lots of charter traffic thanks to big events like the Euros 2004 and the Summer Olympics in Athens. And now that the big charter wave seems to be over, the airport is returning to its more normal passenger load which should give ground handling a little bit more breathing space. Over at the terminal we have this Boeing 737-500 of Air Baltic that with 5 minutes to spare is about ready to go. The the pushback truck is already at the aircraft and the stairs have been pulled back, so the Air Baltic should be on its way to Riga any time now. Then we have a premiere with the arrival of this Embraer EAJ-170 of German carrier Cyrus Airlines that now is connecting Cardiff with Mannheim City Airport in Germany via London City Airport. The aircraft arrived for the first time 25 minutes ago and will now stay overnight until half past 5 in the morning when it starts with its first leg of its return to Germany. Just arriving from Brussels right now is this Avro 100 of SN Brussels Airlines. It's arrived with 10 minutes delay bringing its turnaround time down to a very tight 30 minutes if it's to leave on time for its return flight to Brussels. Right now being prepared for its next flight to London Gatwick is this Boeing 737-400 of British Airways which right now is being loaded with luggage and boarding should begin within the next 10 minutes or so. Then we have an Airbus A320 of Czech Airlines which arrived 35 minutes ago and now has been closed down for the day. The aircraft will remain here overnight and then head out to Prague on the early morning rotation scheduled to leave at quarter past five in the morning. Next we have another A320 but in this case of Iberia. Unlike the Czech Airlines this aircraft will not remain here in Cardiff overnight but is scheduled to return to Madrid in about 15 minutes time. Currently some last catering is being loaded and cargo operations are also still going on while passengers are boarding the aircraft. Then we have this Boeing 737-500 of Air France that will be returning to Paris this evening with a scheduled departure at 5 minutes past 10 in the evening. Luggage is already being loaded, so an on-time departure should be possible. Then this Boeing 757-200 of Iceland Air that only arrived 25 minutes ago is currently being prepared for its return flight to Iceland. While the last luggage of the inbound flight is still being offloaded, the aircraft is being restocked with food and beverages for the passengers and the plane itself is being refueled. And now before we look at the traffic at our remote stands, it's time for the news. Frequency increase. Czech Airlines announces a frequency increase on all its flights between the Czech Republic and the United Kingdom. New apron section completed. A temporary apron section has been opened to compensate for the lost capacity due to the current construction site of the new General Aviation Terminal. Exterior of the new General Aviation Terminal has been completed. Work on the interior will continue ensuring an on-time opening of the new building before the end of the year. Terminal expansion remains on time. The current construction site of the new terminal extension at Cardiff Airport remains on time, pleasing the airport management. The new terminal extension will double capacity at the airport and allow the airport to handle wide-body aircraft, opening up possibilities of intercontinental traffic at the airport. New US route confirmed. After rumors of a possible new US route to Cardiff operated by Northwest Airlines had circulated, the airport management could today revealed that indeed a new US route is expected to start already from October. The airline operating the route will however be Continental Airlines.
at the remote stands, we find this Fokker 50 of KLM that is almost ready for pushback. The aircraft has been loaded and boarding is completed, so now the cockpit is only waiting for the pushback truck and the clearance from the tower for its return flight to Amsterdam. Then we have a Scandinavian Mad Dog, which right now has about 15 minutes left until its scheduled departure. The first load of passengers have already boarded the aircraft and the second bus with passengers is just about to arrive while the last luggage is being loaded. A on-time departure to Copenhagen is still possible, although it will get tight to leave perfectly on time. Still about one hour left before its scheduled departure has this Boeing 737-700 of Hapagloid Express, which is flying between Hanover and Cardiff today. It's still rather quiet around the plane, which currently has its cabin cleaned. Then we have this Fokker 50 of Aer Lingus operating this evening's flight from Cardiff to Dublin. Currently luggage is being loaded, but the crew is still waiting for the passengers to arrive. A flight that definitely will be delayed is this Fokker 100 of Helvetic Airways, as its scheduled departure is in 5 minutes, but the plane is still being loaded with the luggage, catering and passengers still are boarding the plane. Nonetheless, the aircraft should be on its way back to Zurich within the next 10 to 15 minutes. And then we have an Airbus A320 of V-Bird. There has been much speculation about the airline's financial stability in recent weeks and months, but for now the airline continues to fly between Cardiff and Maastricht. The aircraft will remain here overnight before it will head out again at 5 minutes past 6 in the morning. Over at the airport's new temporary ramp, we have this ATR-42 of Eurowings that was scheduled to fly to Düsseldorf at 20 minutes past 7 in the evening. Unfortunately, the aircraft had engine problems during its arrival and as the engine couldn't be repaired in time, the aircraft has been stuck in Cardiff. As there aren't any other flights between Cardiff and Düsseldorf, the airline decided to dispatch this Avro 100 to pick up the stranded passengers. The Avro is now taxiing towards the runway and will shortly be on its way back to Germany. Then we have a Avro 100 of Malmö Aviation. The aircraft arrived with a rugby youth team from Stockholm that will take part in a rugby tournament taking place in Cardiff these days, while the flight plan currently states a departure tomorrow at quarter past 10 in the morning, it is likely that this will be pushed back further. Blasting down the runway right now and closing in on V1 is this Boeing 737-800 of Marliv that will be heading back to its home base at Budapest Airport in Hungary. Over at the currently also reduced cargo ramp, we have this Boeing 737-300 of West Atlantic UK. The aircraft arrived in the afternoon from Stavanger in Norway and will remain here overnight before it heads out to Aberdeen at 6 o'clock in the morning. And finally we have this Avro 85 of Titan Airways that has come in on a transfer flight from London Stansted about one hour ago. It is however currently not known where to the airline will deploy the aircraft next. And with that we have reached the end of today's video. If you have enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a like and if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe. With that, thanks so much for having watched today's video and of course, see you in the next episode of Cardiff.